In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use color gradients for shapes in Adobe Flash CS6. Okay, so say for example you want to draw a uh, oval or a rectangle, any shape in Flash, uh, and you want to fill it with a color gradient. Firstly, I'll just get rid of the stroke color, so I'll choose no stroke color, and I'll just have a fill, a fill color. I'll draw the shape. Let's draw this circle. Okay, so right now it's just a solid color. It's just a solid blue color. But if you go over here to the color section here, a color box, and you change it from a solid color to a gradient, either a linear or radial gradient. We'll get to that in a sec. But if you change it to a gradient, you can choose multiple colors. Um, to fill this shape. So if I choose linear gradient, I've got a slider here with different color pickers and I can change the color that it starts at and the color that it uh, blends into or what it, it um, changes to. So the first color is like a pink sort of orangish color which is on this side of the shape and the second color picker is just yellow. And you can move that backwards and forwards so that there's more of one color and less of another. And you can also click on those color pickers to change the color. So for example, if I click on this orange one here, that little arrow, I can slide up and down here to choose different colors. So blue, green, red, yellow, purple. Okay, so I could change that to blue. And I could go over to this one and click on that, and I could change it to green. Okay. You can also add extra colors. So if I click anywhere along this bar here, the gradient bar, there's a little plus on my mouse cursor. If I click there, I can add another one. So I might add red. Okay, now, you can either do that while you're drawing the shape. You can pick the color. Or you can grab the paint bucket tool and you can change to a gradient color later on. Or you could move back to a solid color if you wanted to. But with the linear gradient, you'll see that you've got like stripes. So they're straight um, sort of waves of different colors. If you grab the paint bucket tool and you draw, you drag, click and drag from left to right, you'll get. Um, like vertical bars, but if you drag from top to bottom, you'll get horizontal bars. And notice here that the green, I've, I've dragged from top to bottom, it's gone green, pink, pinky sort of color, and then blue. But if I drag from bottom to top, it will start from the bottom going green, pink, blue, rather than from the top. Okay, you can drag on different angles. Click and drag, depending on the effect that you want, and it will basically just rotate that effect depending on the direction that you specify. Okay, now if I go back to uh, colors and I change it to a radial gradient, instead of it being in uh, parallel stripes, different colors next to each other, it's um, it starts from the center and it moves out. So we've got blue in the middle, then a ring of pink, and then a ring of green. Okay, and again we can change those colors. We can maybe start with a dark blue, and then work with a lighter blue, and then work with a very light blue. Okay, if we click off that shape, that's the effect that we get. Okay, so you can do that with any shape. I've done that with the circle, but you can also do it with uh, a rectangle or any of the other shapes. And you can also do it when you fill in a shape that you've made with the brush tool. So, for example, I'm going to grab the brush tool and I'm going to make it green. And I'm going to draw some grass down the bottom. Just 
going to be a little bit messy. Just a quick job. I'm just drawing some grass down the bottom and I'm going to make sure that I join those two lines up so I can fill this shape. Okay, now if I go and get the paintbrush tool, I can fill that in with green or I can go back up to my colors. I can choose a linear gradient and I can start with a light green and I could finish with a dark green. Okay, I might have something in the middle there, a different shade of green. I can fill that and I could drag it from bottom to top so that it starts dark on the bottom and it's lighter at the top. And just experiment with that a little bit. Okay, it also depends on the length of the line that you make. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so it's not a very good looking grass, but you can see how the gradient effect can be used there. The other thing that we can do is you might use the brush tool and different shape tools to draw shapes such as sky and clouds and grass and buildings and that kind of thing. And it doesn't matter if you go off the stage because when you export this animation as a movie file, it will only show what's inside the stage. So it won't show what is outside of the stage. But if you want to crop it, you can grab the free transform tool and you can highlight outside the stage area areas that you want to get rid of and clip off. So I've highlighted this section down the bottom. I can just hit my delete key on the keyboard and that will go. Okay, same with the sides, delete. And we're just clipping off those areas of the side to tidy that up. There we go. Okay, so that is how to use the gradient tools to fill shapes in Adobe Flash CS6 and also how to use the free transform tool to clip off excess parts of drawings. Thanks for watching.